Here at Midland International Airport, it's very easy to keep your head down and go about your day, especially when you're in baggage claim and you just want to get your stuff and get out. But if you just look up just a little bit, you'll not only see Midland history, you'll see a little bit of Texas history. In order for this plane to take off, this plane had to. The Plisk airplane was built in 1912. It was the first airplane built and flown in Texas, and uh, it, was, it was built by a local blacksmith here. That's right. In a city known for oil and gas, Midland was home to the first airplane built in the Lone Star State, giving the town's nickname Tall City a whole other meaning. And according to Justine Ruff, director of airports at the Midland International Airport, the man who got this off the ground was named John Pliska. He wanted to build an airplane. He had some experience with doing his mandatory military service in Czechoslovakia. He had learned a little bit about things flying, and so he, he took that knowledge with him. Pliska, who was a blacksmith, and local auto mechanic Greg Hagen, took some pointers from two familiar brothers, who let's just say passed their first flying test with flying colors. Right after the Wright brothers did their first flight, one of their aircraft flew here on a cross-country flight on its way to LA and it stopped here for fuel and they like closed the schools and half the town came out to check it out and uh, Mr. Pliska and Mr. Coggin were in that crowd watching and they noted everything that they saw and then they started building immediately. And after some trials and errors, they learned that the best time to fly was during the morning when it wasn't as hot and there was no wind. And on the 4th of July of 1912, fireworks weren't the only thing in the friendly skies even if the plane wasn't up there for that long. They were invited by the city of Odessa to come and do a demonstration flight on the 4th of July, 1912. But it was a hot day, not surprising, for 4th of July. And it was the middle of the afternoon and they could taxi it and just kind of lift off the ground, but they couldn't get any sustained flight because it was so hot. And a lot of the people in attendance, the cowboys were angry and wanted their money back. After this less than ideal demonstration, the two fled, no pun intended, and they stored the plane in Pliska's blacksmith shop, where it stayed for 50 years until the shop was demolished in 1962. From there, the now historic plane was donated to the city of Midland. The Abel Hanger Foundation restored the aircraft and built a little museum for it out here. There was a, it was in the old terminal, there was a little display for it. And if you've flown to Midland International Airport and had your bags checked since 1999, this plane was right above your head. Hundreds of thousands of people have stood under it. Despite that, it remains something that goes over a lot of Midlanders' heads. It's an important part of our history. I mean, it was the first airplane built and flown in Texas, which is pretty cool. And so um, we're thrilled to have it here on display. Showing that the planes that are leaving the airport every day aren't the only ones that are leaving an impact. So the next time you have to wait for your baggage just a little bit, make sure to look up. You'll learn something about Midland history. In Midland, I'm Marcus Risen, News West 9.